President Biden is taking heat from red states after these remarks about their plans to lift COVID restrictions in some cases. I hope everybody's realized by now these masks make a difference. The last thing we need is the Neanderthal thinking that in the meantime, everything's fine. Take off your mask. Forget it. It still matters. Really? Neanderthal? Texas is one of the states he's referring to. And Governor Greg Abbott is one of the people that he was thinking about. Governor, how do you respond to the president's unification message of calling you and other governors a Neanderthal? Two things, Brian. First, it obviously is not the type of thing that a president should be saying. But second, he kind of said it on the worst day he could have. Because the same day he said that, uh, in Texas, the Biden administration was releasing illegal, immigrant, illegal immigrants into our communities who had COVID. The Biden administration was spreading COVID in South Texas yesterday because of their lack of constraint uh, of, of testing and, and uh, quarantining. Uh, people who'd come across the border illegally. The Biden administration uh, was exposing Texans to COVID. That is Neanderthal-type approach uh, to dealing uh, with the COVID situation. But more importantly, Brian, is this, uh, and that is with regard to masks, uh, the, the change in Texas really wasn't all that much different from where we were before for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, we are still uh, strongly advocating uh, that every Texan follow the best practice. Where we are today is completely different from where we were this time last year when Texans and Americans didn't know how to deal with this. For an entire year, Texans have learned the best practice, and that is to wear a mask, and we still strongly recommend that people do wear a mask. But Brian, know this, that I'm, I know you folks know, uh, and that is when we saw the spikes in cases after Christmas and New Year's, uh, we, we saw that most of those spikes they didn't occur in businesses or in schools or uh, in lo other locations like that, like retail centers. Most of those transmissions occurred in the home setting where people were not wearing a mask in the first place. And so right. uh, the mask requirement being eliminated isn't going to make that big of a change in the state of Texas. Also, people in Texas will continue to wear a mask, even though there's not a state mandate. We're just in a situation now where government mandates are not needed because Texans gotcha. do know the best practices. Hey, Governor, you're not telling everyone to do it. You're giving them the freedom to decide. Like, for example, CVS, exactly. JCPenney, Hyatt Hotels, Kroger, Macy's, Starbucks. I go on to Target. you got to wear a mask to go in there. That's the same thing they're doing in Florida. It's up to the states. So one of the quotes was from uh, a host on another channel. says, Governor Tate Reeves, who has the same thing as you, uh, over in Mississippi, and you are intentionally uh, murdering people of color with this policy. Well, nothing could be further from the truth for different reasons that I will explain, and that is one thing that Texas is doing. Uh, we are sending out 1,100 National Guard uh, to go to communities that are hard to reach with regard to the vaccination program and, and making sure that uh, everybody of every color uh, is going to have a chance uh, to be able to get the vaccine. Uh, Texas is doing a great job of rolling out vaccines. Yesterday, we set an all-time record um, of 229,000 vaccines. For the past week, uh, we've issued more than 1.2 million vaccines. Uh, we have locations set up in the Cotton Bowl and Dallas which is very close to people of color. And so there's all kinds of things that are being done to make sure that everybody in the state of Texas is getting a vaccine. And our, our vaccine numbers are going up very rapidly of, of people of all categories and colors. But I have to emphasize this, Brian. Go ahead. And that is our main focus in Texas is to focus on those most likely to lose their life or be hospitalized because of COVID. Those are people age 65 and older. By the time my order goes into effect, more than 50% of that population will have been vaccinated. So the ERC CEO uh, with who was really responsible for controlling the grid during the Arctic freeze you got blitzed with a few weeks ago uh, has been fired. He's on his 60 day uh, exit plan. Are you in support of that? So early on, I called for his resignation, and let me tell you why. And that's because uh, we know from the facts that have been put together and information uh, provided to me, uh, a large part of this problem was operational error. Operational error in making the assessments before the storm. Operational error in slamming on the brakes as opposed to imposing a slow rolling blackout. It's like you're driving a car on ice and suddenly slamming on the brakes. It's going to lead to a wreck. And that's what happened here. He waited until too late to begin to slow 
uh, the, the pro provision of power in the state of Texas, and that forced him to slam on the brakes, and that led to uh, a domino effect of shutting down power generation in Texas, and it led to the consequences. So fixing operational error here uh, is going to go a long way to fixing the problem. And get your infrastructure done and invest in that, uh, which it was pointed out prior to this Arctic freeze, uh, would make sense. Uh, Governor, thanks so much. Thank you, Brian. You guys take care.